This is a tutorial for desktop windows only. It can be followed for Macintosh as well. We have our spin display. You have a little circle on the 25.6 F65 spin display. Please remove your SDXC card, place it to your SD card reader, USB drive. Open up the driver and copy the files as backup. You have seven files, a configuration, an FTLUS, and spin display. Open up the spin display. In your viewing, you'll see the spin display 2.0.1.1. Open up, follow the instructions by clicking on next, and next, and install. You'll be prompted Spin Display Publisher Unknown. You may look at more details and click on Yes. As the Spin Display program completes, click on Finish, turn on your Spin Display. That'll be your next step. Your Spin Display goes through a five second startup. On Wi Fi, please open up your Wi Fi connection and look for F65 serial number. If you connected your spin display to your smartphone, please disconnect off and retry again. Open up the F65, connect, and the password is 12345678 as default. Click on next. Close off the Wi-Fi and open up your spin display. The spin display will prompt you once again. Click on more details to look for the information. The spin display may stop you on your firewall. That'd be your choice. As the spin display opens up, it'll open up the F65. If you have more than one F65 spin displays or renamed spin displays, it'd be on this side of the list. Spin display advanced use for batch files and splicing. That'd be in another video in the future to come. On the top blue line, spin display is enabled. Disabled, that is. You have enabled the about. This is where your language is at four different languages, English, Chinese, Japanese, and Korean. To X out and close the window is hitting the X. In the help opens up, enlarge, shrink, restore, the catalog, the glossary, a synchronization mechanism, device installation, splicing settings, upload files, common errors, and appendants. Everything you need to know in all the languages of the spin display on how to use. We'll scroll down and give you an idea of what it looks like, how to set up, how to use the app, and so on. Here we are on our application of desktop. In order to close down, simply hit the X, it opens up to the main window. If we open up the F65, you're going to notice that we have nine types of bin files. We're going to go down to number eight for now, hit the trash can, and click OK to delete of the two videos that are loaded. We're going to show you now how simple and easy it is to put a photo and or video on as well as project a movie. These are the steps to follow. Hit the upload, pick the photo, double click with the mouse scroll wheel, make it smaller or zoom in, fill in the whole circle. Simply click upload. As the photo is uploaded, it'll be the eighth bin file converted over. You then go down to the bottom of Steve WB. You have a recycle, a edit, a delete. In the edit, double click. You can 
change the name to anything you want for your spin display or have it already named on your file. You could change the rep repetitions it is a picture type and you have the option of all day to hide it and to set a time. You have eight different time schedules to turn on and off that picture. In order to upload a video, it is the same way. Click on upload, click on the video, enlarge or shrink, and hit upload. On the bottom, the line will increase when loaded. When all completed, you have Bot War. We want to rename it Bot War. We come over here, we put an S for Bot Wars and we click OK. In order to play the units, come over to the play, start up, and click on Bot Wars. And this is the video you have uploaded to your spin display. You want to see the photo? Hit the photo by double clicking and the photo has been uploaded. In order to show a movie from the projection side of your screen, Simply click on projection, pick the fan, hit the start, and the unit should start. Open up the folder, open up the file where you loaded up a picture and display your movie. These are the very simple steps and tutorial on how to get started showing a video onto your screen, showing a photo as well. When all completed, simply close down your window. X everything out, close down, and end the projection. When the projection ends, it starts up at the very beginning of the program. You can control the play, the stop, and that completes the tutorial of the desktop application on how to use the spin display. If any questions you have, comment down below and we'd be more than happy to help out. And on that note, I'm Fish, and thank you for viewing.